boys and girls, welcome back to our very own Reading Corner. So today we're going to be reading a book called What Are Shadows and Reflections. So guys, this will be a good book if you guys want to learn about this. But anyways, let's just go on. What is light? Light is the brightness that shows you the world around you. It lets you see the butterflies and flowers outside. Light lets you play with your cars and trains inside your house. It helps you find treasures in caves and other dark places. Light really brightens up your day. Haha, <laughs> jokes. In the dark. Dark places do not have light. It is hard to see in the dark. When the sun goes down at night, our world gets dark. You turn on a flashlight so you can find your way to your campsite. You turn on the lights inside so you can see the milk and cookies you eat before bedtime. Where does light come from? There are many sources of light. A source is the place where something comes from. So that is what a source is. The main source of light on earth is the sun. The sun is a huge ball of hot gas in the sky. Its light shines down on the entire world. It gives light and heat to all living things. That is why it becomes cold at night. Light bulbs are another source of light. When you turn on the light in your home, the light bulb glows. So it glows. The light bulb helps you find the flashlight you need for your camping trip. The flashlight helps you get wood in the forest to make a campfire. The fire is a source of light too. Light waves. All light sources make light waves. Light waves are rays or beams of energy. Energy that our eyes see as the colors of the rainbow. When we see all the colors together, light appears white. Light waves travel quickly from their source. They move in straight lines until they meet up with matter. Everything is made up of matter. Matter is anything you can see or touch. Soak it up. When light waves meet matter, the matter absorbs some of the light. To absorb is to soak up. For example, a red wagon is red because the wagon absorbs all the colors in the light waves except red. The color red is not soaked up, so we can see it on the wagon. Light bounces. When light hits matter, the matter reflects some of the energy in the light waves. To reflect is to bounce off something. The light bounces off from object to object and right in your eyes. Bouncing light waves let you see the world around you. Mirrors reflect. A mirror reflects your smiling face. It can also be used to change the path of light. When a beam of light hits the shiny surface of a mirror, the light reflects off it. When you move the mirror, it changes the direction in which the light beam travels. So yeah, that's what people do. They put like they put like a flashlight and they put a magnifying glass in the mirror. If you guys don't know about this and then reflect off and like people put paper in front of it so the paper burns. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of that. Light bends. Matter also refracts light. To refract is to bend or change the direction of something. Light travels through air, water, and other matter. Light waves bend when they move from one type of matter into another. Different types of matter make light waves bend in different ways. Yeah, have you guys ever noticed like when you go underwater, like the top part of it is like, you see the top part is um, normal. And then when you go under it, you will see that, or like you see it halfway, you see that it's actually more thicker or like it might be more thinner. Something, it can be like that. So it just bends, which is a different way of seeing light. Try this. Simple test to bend light waves. Pour some water into a glass. Put a straw or other straight object into the water. Look at it from the side. The straw will look like it is in two pieces. It is not a magic trick. Light bends when it moves. So you guys are seeing 
from the top, it's going like that. So from the top, it looks differently. But it, when it, the, so then the light bends and it's going in a different position. That's what it is. A clear matter. Light can travel through air and water because they are transparent. Transparent means it can go through, you see through. Transparent matter lets light pass through it. It does not block light. Windows are also transparent. The sun streams through your window and shines on your face. Not so clear. Other matter blocks some of the light and lets some light move through it. Matter that allows sunlight to pass through is called translucent. Plastic milk jugs are translucent. You can tell there's milk inside the jug, but you cannot see the milk clearly. Blocking light. Some matter blocks the light. No light can pass through it at all. Matter that blocks light is called opaque. Many of the things you see around are opaque. Walls and wooden doors are opaque. Tables and chairs are opaque. You are opaque too. Making shadows. When light hits an opaque object, the object blocks the light. Blocking the light makes a dark area behind the object where the light cannot reach. The dark area is called a shadow. Sun and shadows. The sun makes shadows on earth. It shines down from the sky and lights the world. When trees, houses, and other matter block the sunlight, shadows are formed. Without the sun, we would not have shadows. On the move, your body blocks the sun and creates shadows all around you. When the sun shines in front of you, you see a shadow behind you. When the sun shines behind you, you see a shadow in front of you. Shadows move and change as you run and play in the sunshine. Light it up! Follow these steps to see how light passes through different objects. You will see light waves in a whole new light. What to do? Tape the white paper to the wall. Shine the flashlight onto the paper. Look at the circle of light. Draw what you see in a notebook. Now place one of the objects between the flashlight and the paper. Look at the circle of light again. How has it changed? Is it more or less bright? Draw what you see. Do it again with other objects. Try to predict if the object will let light pass through them or not. To predict, tell something before it takes place. See the light? Look at your drawings. You will see that light acts in different ways when it meets different kinds of matter. Group the objects by how much light passes through them. Are they transparent? Translate or OPEC? Did you predict the light correctly? Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video guys. So guys, um, this video was about shadows and reflections and how like light passes through them and all of that. And guys, I have two questions for you guys. Okay guys, so my first question is, what is opaque? You guys know like um, any idea of what opaque is? It's meaning, like what is opaque? What is its meaning? And my second question is, give two examples of something that light can pass through and give the differences of those two examples. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you guys want more of these videos. And I'll see you guys next time.